Hey everybody, I want to show you when and how to create a sunburst chart like this right in Excel. It's one of my favorite Excel chart types, but it gets misused a lot. So I want to explain when to use it, how to use it, and how to make it look great. So the basic premise is this sunburst charts are for hierarchical data. That means things that are broken into categories and subcategories. That can be a little confusing, so I've used a really straightforward example here. We've got seasons. Within each season, we have months. And within each month, we have different forageable plants in my area. I like going foraging. I like knowing what's in season. So that's what this shows. So our hierarchy is season. And within each season, we have a month. And within each month, we have different plants that are growing during that particular month. So when you look at that as a data table, you essentially have an entry for a plant. And that plant is labeled with a month and a season. So that means we have multiple entries for each month because every single plant needs to have a month label. And we have multiple entries for each season because every single season has to have a month and plant tied to it. And most importantly, every single entry in your table is going to have to have a value tied to it. That You just need to make sure you have some sort of value tied to each one. So each segment of our sunburst chart is going to represent the cumulative values within each category. So the size of the spring segment is going to represent the total of all of the different plants within the spring category. And then each segment within it is going to be bracketed and segmented based off of the values there. So this is really useful because if you're trying to show something like sales performance for different departments of your company or something like that, this is going to show a much bigger segment for the department that, say, has the most sales. Now, so if you take away certain subcategories, you'll get a chart that looks like this with blank areas where that category isn't labeled. If a particular category doesn't have a value, if the value is zero, it just won't show up as a segment because it'll be too small. When you're creating one of these, all you're doing is selecting your whole table. I'm just using Command A to select the whole table. Going to the Insert tab, going to this little icon here, and adding in a sunburst chart. You'll have to adjust these so that the fonts are right and you can read everything. But it typically does a pretty good job interpreting what data you want to use for your categories and your values. Now, of course, this looks a little different than, say, something like this. And the reason is because I've taken some time to style this. So. You can style these charts with a lot of granularity. You can click into individual segments and style them and give each segment its own color if you want. You can even click into subsections and style just a subsection. So if I only want to do the things in March, I can just do those. And if I really want to get granular and I want to just highlight one particular segment, I can even do one particular subcategory. In this case, I've just styled each season in a different color, and I've just also added a little subtle circle behind it. That's just under the Insert tab. You can drop a circle in. I've just added a circle in here that's just slightly lighter than the background just to make it stand out a little bit. And if you want to get a little fancy, you could add in a couple little icons like I did here just to make it clear that we're looking at the seasons. To update your fonts, you can just select the whole chart and update the fonts here, or you can click into individual sections like this and edit individual fonts. I wanted to make my season font a little bit larger in this case, so I just clicked into each one, went to my home tab, and increased the font size a little bit. Now, if you're somebody wondering about all these cool little callouts I have here, these are actually just totally designed in Excel. It's just I stacked some shapes together, an image, all the stuff's under the Insert tab, along with some text. And uh, I just manually added these in and added these little lines to show where they're pointing. I have a ton of videos on here highlighting the design features to do this kind of thing. Just check out my profile. I've got a bunch of stuff about this. But that's the basics. So if you have any questions, you want me to go into anything else in detail, let me know. If you want a copy of this template or any of my other templates, I just send them out for free on my newsletter. There's a link on my profile. It's totally free. I just send these out with little tutorials tied to them. So you have like a real file to look at while you're working on this stuff. Thanks so much for tuning in. Me and Gummy here say bye. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.